Hello everyone and welcome to our video series on Learn German for Beginners. In this lesson, we'll be learning the possessive pronouns in dative. You might be familiar with the dative articles which we did in lesson 32. I would advise you to revise dative articles before we do the possessive pronouns in dative. Lektion 35 Possessive Pronomen im Dativ Possessive pronouns in Dative are very similar to unbestimmte Artikel in Dative. So, let's begin! Hi, ich bin Petra. Das ist mein Mann. Ich gebe meinem Mann einen Kuss. Since the possessive pronoun for ich is mein, the dative form is meinem. Now this sentence has many components. Let's break it down to understand it better. In this sentence, ich is here the nominative or subject of the sentence. Einen Kuss is the accusative object or the direct object. Meinem Mann is the dative object or the indirect object. Important tip, the indirect object is the recipient of the direct object. That is, in this sentence, meinem Mann gets einen Kuss. In this case, we use meinem because the article for Mann is there. This will change whenever we have a different dative object, that is, a feminine, a neutral or plural. Let's look at few more examples to understand this better. Das ist meine Tochter. Ich gebe meiner Tochter einen Kuss. In this case, the article of the indirect object is die, that is die Tochter, and this will change to meiner Tochter because it's dative. Let's look at the next sentence. Das ist mein Baby. Ich gebe meinem Baby einen Kuss. Here you can notice, since the article of Baby is das and it's an indirect object, it changes to meinem Baby in dative. I am sure you can notice here that these articles are very similar to unbestimmte Artikel, which are einem, einer, etc. in Dativ. Let's look at the plural case. Das sind meine Kinder. Ich gebe meinen Kindern einen Kuss. In this case, since the article for Kinder is die and it's plural, the possessive pronoun would be meinen and do remember there is an extra N added to the plural noun, which makes it Kindern. These rules for masculine, feminine, neutral and plural apply to all other possessive pronomen. Let's do a few more examples to understand them. Das ist Martin. Das ist sein Bruder. Er kauft seinem Bruder eine Schokolade. Since Martin is masculine, we use the possessive pronoun sein. And this sign changes to seinem 
indative because the article for brooder is there. Das ist seine Frau. Er kauft seiner Frau eine Schokolade. Since the article for Frau is die, you use seiner for dative object. Moving on to the next one. Das ist sein Kind. Er kauft seinem Kind eine Schokolade. Here also we use seinem because the article for Kind is das and in dative it changes to seinem. Moving on to the plural form. Das sind seine Freunde. Er kauft seinen Freunden Schokoladen. In dative Seine changes to seinen and do remember that you add an N to the plural form of the noun. Let's move on to the next possessive pronoun. Das ist Maria. Das ist ihr Freund. Sie bringt ihrem Freund das Essen. Since Maria is feminine, you would use the possessive pronoun ihr in this case. And it changes to ihrem in dative because the article for Freund is there. Das ist ihre Schwester. Sie bringt ihrer Schwester das Essen. Since Schwester is the, the possessive pronoun for dative would be ihrer. The next one has article das. I'm sure by now you know what to use here. Das ist ihr Kind. Sie bringt ihrem Kind das Essen. Yes, since the article for Kind is das, the possessive pronoun would be ihrem. Das sind ihre Nachbarn. Sie bringt ihren Nachbarn Das Essen. Since the article for Nachbarn is the in plural, the possessive pronoun would be ihren. In this case, we don't add an N to Nachbarn since the plural form already has N at the end. Wir sind Lukas und Katrin. Do you remember what possessive pronoun is used with via? Let's look at the first sentence. Das ist unser Vater. Wir kaufen unserem Vater ein Geschenk. Once again, since the article for Vater is there, you would use Unserem in dative. And yes, the possessive pronoun for wir is unser. Das ist unsere Mutter. Wir kaufen unserer Mutter ein Geschenk. Since Mutter is feminine, the dative possessive article would be unserer. Moving on to the next one. Das ist unser Haustier. Wir kaufen unserem Haustier einen Knochen. The article for Haustier is das. So, in the dative object, 
we would use unserem Das sind unsere Großeltern. Wir kaufen unseren Großeltern ein Geschenk. Since Großeltern is plural, in the dative object we would use unseren. And why don't we use an extra n at the end of the noun? Yes, because the plural form already has that n at the end. Now let's summarize. Here is a table with all the possessive pronouns in dative. The first and foremost thing that you should remember here, what possessive pronoun should be used with which pronoun. To revise this, you can watch lesson 24 of our video series. If you remember them, it's very easy to remember the possessive pronouns in dative. As you can see, the possessive pronouns in masculine and in neutral are the same. For example, for ich, meinem and meinem. For feminine, it's meiner and for plural, it's meinen plus you add an end to the plural form of the noun. So, all you have to do is, if the possessive pronoun is in dative, then you add an em when the article is masculine, er when the article is feminine, em when the article is neutral, and en plus an n at the end when the article is plural. Only euer changes to eurem oder eurer oder euren in dative. Well done! Danke! Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. Tschüss! Auf Wiedersehen!